All right, we connected today. One of the exciting things, this is one of my drag sets. Can you see it back there wrapped around that tree? Can, I can see it. Come here. Look right there. Do you see right there at the base of that tree? <clears throat> what is it? A ball cat. So you can see, I, I got the dragon. It's actually wrapped around that tree. That's why when we came up, I was, kept expecting to see that tree shaking. I didn't see the tree shaking, so I didn't think we had anything. And then I saw the trap was gone. And you can see how incredibly intact that the Daddy, set still is. Daddy? Yeah, buddy. Well, how can Zap get out? I'll show you. We got it on a drag, so it's a long chain. And so that's one of the benefits to the drag is, one, it gets your animal out of sight. If you were trapping on a, you know, in more public or more visible area, nobody would ever know that that bobcat was right there. And then two, um, your set's still intact, so your remake theoretically should be, uh, and, and, go pretty quick. And three is uh, it really camouflaged. It's really camouflaged, isn't it? All right, so we're going to get him dispatched and check everything out. So that's another catch on the steel screen pan what? covers. And you can see, man, that's a solid catch. That's, that's not definitive one way or the other because uh, I haven't used it enough. But um, between the holding up to the weather and, and a good solid catch, I, I don't necessarily have any complaints yet. Now can I do it? All right. Take it away, cameraman. Make sure. Hang on. Okay. So we got started today. What is it? Oh, yeah, that bot right, Bobcat. And you see, my daddy got him. They were right here at the back. And you watching right there to see what they're seeing? That's, that mm -hmm. shows you what they see, okay? We got a Bobcat. See? Better turn it off and that way you can see it good. <laughs> All right, got a Bobcat. All right, let's make, let's make this. Our first animal. The best. So here's the remake. A uh, couple things that I've learned. Um, those darn. What are you doing? Hang on a second. Those darn uh, steel screen pan covers definitely take some getting used to. I just caught the crap out of my thumb. That thing hurts. Um, but I've, I've trimmed them down smaller than you would expect. Um, to to I, I'm still getting the hang of them, but I should have showed you before. I finally did the final sift over, but um, they're so stiff. I try to form them a little bit to the pan. But if there's still a lot that's hanging out underneath the jaw, then it'll still, when you're trying to bit it, the just the tension of the screen will still tr cause it to fire. So I trimmed some of that off, trimmed it off sideways. I need to get an updated, uh, I guess, uh, size on them. But this is kind of what, from reading uh, O'Gorman's book, watching uh, Randy Smith's uh, Combines and Coyotes, this is kind of my version, and I don't know if it's um, exactly right, but kind of a, what, what I've heard them call a, what I think is a Charlie Robbins dirt hole set. So you got your dirt hole and what you what you really can't see is that the, where the trap is, the trap is, is laying this way, the levers are this way, um, and the trap is slightly depressed, so it's it's kind of it's kind of angled from here going down into the hole. Um, and one thing I think I was doing was I was bedding the trap too close to the edge. Wait a minute, and so I think when when I had something digging at the hole, he was catching the, the edge of the lever and flipping the trap out inadvertently. So I moved the trap back a little bit. Um, and then I think I could exaggerate my, my angle a little more. I think the idea is, nobody knows really how this stuff plays out, but the idea is that, you know, that makes the most sense for an animal that's working a set to, to come in um, on that little angle where it looks like kind of the hole was dug to begin with. So. I don't know. It's worked. It worked for that cat for sure. Well, this is the one where we had the miss here. I added this little yeah. stepping guide. Shh. We had this tracks here. Added this little stepping guide and a little more, um, a little more debris to try to funnel them across. Got my scat with a little urine on that. So uh, we'll see. We got a few more traps to check. We'll see if we got anything else today. Yeah. And well, not the catch we were hoping for, but but it's good. A catch nonetheless. Wait, what is it? And this was just a scent post that I'd done, um, just a little coyote gland lure and a little coyote urine, a red fox urine actually, right on that log, blended, um, 
Well, we even got something else today. At least we got something else today. Nice black possum.